A warm welcome back to Spagovo. It's episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just gone 7 o'clock in the morning. It's September 2. It's another day. Of course it's another day. You've seen the contracts I completed. <laughs> it took me quite a while, but I don't mind. I keep saying it. I don't mind. Um, thank you to everyone that's been reaching out. I, I, I don't know why I gave the impression... I seem to have given the impression that I'm... Let me just... People are offering me things. <laughs> I didn't say this was going to be a kind of necessary collaboration let's play or a subscriber contract type thing but I've had loads of people reaching out I don't know what it is about what I'm doing on here offering me things I've, when I had all the root crops yesterday people offering me stuff for the um, the parsnip and then the red beet and well you're going to see you already know from the thumbnail it's obviously um, root crop season here um, but I wanted to, I can't remember if I told you or not I put in RTK because I thought that would be quite important across the road we're going to check on our seed production because that should be done now. It's a new day. How are we looking? 3,999 litres of seed has been produced. Awesome. I've got a little bit more stuff I can put in there if I want to, but that's good. Um, I have off-camera purchased... I have placed... I've got a little standpipe with a hose. I've also got myself a water container trailer. Just there. There's our water pipe. That's full. So what I did as well... I did a baling contract. You probably saw that. Silage bales. I had six left over. It was interesting, actually. The the baling contract, the equipment gave me a quick bale. Um, I mean, it didn't really help particularly because of what I was using to pull it, but... Red bale wrap. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give me an option. That's what it was set on. So that's what we had. Round bales, red wrap. Um, yeah, so we got some more silage bales, which is cool. Uh, what I also did was made a start on the outhouse, because obviously the outhouse has to be used put a bit of paving around it because I thought, you know, that's probably the thing to do. So I've been backwards and forwards with our water tanker, putting water in. 259,816 litres in there. I did one tray load of straw from our straw um, barn. It's not the, it's not the loveliest place to, in the world to come. Um, but we are now... Where's my thing? Where's my doodad? There we go. Um, so... We're running... I, I, I thought you had to have all of them. And now it's only when I looked, I can do straw to manure and I can do water to slurry. So I've set both those running. I haven't got any wood chips yet. So when we get some wood chip, we can get that going as well. But for the time being, we're good. And it barely took... I mean, bearing in mind 259,000 litres of water and it's barely touched the sides in there. So I can put a ton of water in there. Um, and we've now got 365 litres of manure and uh, 367 of slurry. And that can just chug away. That can that can just keep going. Happy as Larry. Anyway, contract we've got on the go at the moment. I'm going to go over to... I was going to take the baler back. But considering our bales are here, I think we're probably better off leaving the baler here. Water tanker needs to stay here. Oh, I know what I was going to do. We need to plough our fields out, don't we? So I'm going to, I'm going to take this plough and we're going to replace it for a new one. We're going to get a different plough. I have decided. Executive decision. Then we're going to head out to the fields. So I had a potato contract came up with the equipment. So I thought, you know what? We'll jump on that. Get the potato harvester running. Um, and then suddenly, I don't know why it popped into my head. I was watching, what was I watching on telly? I was watching something, not telly, YouTube. Um, and I suddenly thought, because I was doing the potatoes and it's all kind of root crop stuff, I thought about um, potato weevil. I don't know why potato weevils popped into me. I know, that's the way my mind works. Very weird, but it did. So I looked online for about potato weevils. So that's quite cool. You know, weave it into the story, whatever we're doing. Um, as far as I can find, potato weevils are only sweet. It's like sweet potato weevils. Maybe there are potato weevils for normal potatoes, but I can only find links to sweet potato stuff which was weird. And then that led me on to another thought um, of the film Master and Commander, where they're sitting in the um, the officer's um, mess on the ship and they're telling jokes and they've got weevils in the biscuits and they do like a weevil race and um, Russell Crowe says the joke is about it's the lesser of two weevils. 
And then I suddenly thought, it's the root of all evil. Then I thought, well, it's the root of all evil. I, I, I don't know. I just, I can't explain why, why my brain works the way it does. Anyway, so I took on the potato contract. So a lot of root crop stuff. I'm going to take you over to the farm. I'm going to show you um, how we're looking for our root crops at the moment. It's pretty impressive, I have to say. And then I assume we have potatoes left over. And while I was doing that, a second potato harvesting contract came up. So I thought, oh, yeah, you know what, let's do that. So got two of those on the go. And then while I was doing that, I was approached by a local farmer to say, um, they had a ploughing contract they needed doing. Could I entertain doing some ploughing? And when I say entertain doing some ploughing, and I said this earlier on in the episodes, it seems to be a very case-heavy heavy environment because I was lent this <laughs> to do some ploughing. Look at that weapon. I can't wait for the new one on 25, the 715. Oh, I know there's a modded one, but base game 7. But we got this this beastie for a ploughing contract. So I thought, you know what? We'll crack on. We'll get those jobs done. I'm trying to build the money up. That's what I keep saying. You know, if we're going to get bits of equipment and we are picking bits up as we go, there are going to be some bits that I'm going to utilise that I have used before. I know I said I'm, I'm trying to use different stuff, but especially for the area. And also when I look at things, and I've said this many, many times before, the price and whatnot. Um, I'm looking at price, I'm looking at size, capacity, all of it, you know. And if money's no object, then yeah, buy whatever you like. But when you're starting out and you, you haven't got a huge amount, it's difficult. So, uh, where is it? Just there. What are we going to sell that for? Oh, that's more than I thought. 12235. Absolutely, we'll sell that. But what we're going to do is um, go into the store and we're going to exactly what I was going to say whatever he said and the ploughs we might have, have have I got not the one you think I'm going to go for that the mulch tiller it's a bit more expensive than I was hoping it was going to be uh, 130 horsepower what have we got on the I don't know if we've got enough I think we'll just get it if we go bigger it requires more horsepower so we'll keep it that 3.4 meter that'll do it's a straight pull behind we haven't got massive fields at the moment do i lease it or buy it i'm gonna buy it and that'll be for plowing our fields so hopefully by the end of the episode we can at least start plowing <laughs> if nothing else we can get some plowing done actually i don't know where i need to check on I need to check on ploughing is in field 9, which is where? Where is field 9? If there's 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, was it the fields? Oh, we're going that way anyway. Yeah, so we're doing 5. And then we've got a potato contract. Where's the other potato contract? Oh, out there. 113 is the other potato contract. So I might bring back that slurry spreader and sell that because we don't need that at the moment. And also, I might be able to find a different one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this up down here. This will be going back to the farm. We'll take the quad track out, ready for ploughing. We can pop and have a look at the farm and then we'll go over to the potatoes and we'll crack on with those. Oh. <laughs> and it's, it's all K stuff, isn't it? I mean, I've had for a couple of the harvesting contracts some different tractors, and for the potato harvesting contract, we've got the um, not pal finger. Um, it'll come to me. We've got a 22,000 litre trailer that came with the contract for potato as well, so it's a, it's a little bit of backwards and forwards, and we're going to a different sell point as well. I've got a full trailer, so we're going to crack on and do that. Um, and I, I don't know. It's I'm, I'm like I said, I'm loving this map. I think the map is fantastic. Um, I'm loving the fact I've just come back to just farming, just doing farming, picking up contracts. We're using different equipment, we're using different stuff. You know, we're just picking up whatever comes along, which is great. I'm happy with that. Is it this one? That's ploughed. No, it's not, is it? No. That looks like the field to me. It's only big enough. that get adjusted out it does doesn't it we can do that I can't remember does that put in narrower 
and that leave it wider? I can't remember. Does it turn? It does. Because we are going to start here. I suppose realistically I could hire a worker once I've done the outsides. But I don't want to, you know, again we're using up our money which I don't really want to be doing. I know a lot of people have been asking and I don't know the answer actually. It's kind of been alluded to but we don't know for definite. For 25, because of the ground deformation and, the, and a lot of the video clips and stuff we've seen of people using various different implements that potentially the ploughing will actually go the way you plough. Obviously as it stands I'm ploughing this direction and the actual furrows are running directly you know that direction people have been asking is it going to be is it going to be different is it going to be that the, the furrows and stuff will actually go the direction you're of travel they do change at 45 degree angles on this um i honestly i can't tell you i honestly don't know anyway that's the start of that so at least we've got that going that's awesome we'll get into that later on but we've got the farm oh, i said a bit further than i thought actually i thought it was next field over um let's check out our what we've got <laughs> We had leftover parsnip, what was it, 30-something thousand litres, wasn't it? The red beet fill was a little bit bigger. We delivered all of that. And I still had... <laughs> completed the contract and I still had field to harvest. So, ah, okay then. I think we end up with nearly 50,000 litres. 40-something, <laughs> it was a lot. So our parsnip is piled up here. And Rob has offered me all sorts of bits of equipment. <laughs> Rob messaged and said, oh... I've got this, I've got he sent me a list of all this stuff he's got on his farm. Um some bits they're not using, some bits they are. Um they said they're in need of root crop for feeding some of their animals, so could they have sugar beet at uh, um parsnip for some equipment? And I said I appreciate the offer. I I haven't agreed to anything yet. Anyway, that's our parsnip pile. Then we've got our red beet pile, which again came a little bit further out. I probably need to come up with a bucket and we'll tie that up. But at the end of the day, you know, if it ends up just being fodder beet or something like that. It's not the end of the world, but we've got quite a pile here of, um, <laughs> of red beet. So plenty of that. Plenty to be going round. Wowzers. Right, so over to the field. What are we? Four, three, four folk fields over. We need to get on with this potatoing. Um, I don't know whether or not to, like I say, should I just do the ends? Because the fields run at angles. <laughs> They're at funny angles. If you do a direct up and down, you find at one point, like directly here, I can get right to that top corner, and that will go right down to that bottom corner. And that's the one full strip you'll get. Because any further that way, and the field runs at a diagonal that way, any further that way, and the field runs at a diagonal this way. So I think you get like maybe two or three strips in the middle, which you'll get a full run. Because I'm standing, where am I standing? Here. So as, as you look at it, East west, west east, you'll get directly across a few runs, but the rest are all at funny angles. So, um, yeah, hiring a worker's not as straightforward. What is that? Didn't even notice that. Was that the clump of trees there? Oh, yeah, isn't it? But I think I won't get the potatoes because I'm part way through the potato contract. I, I have that habit of getting sidetracked and I, I bounce and I'll start one thing, then go and do something else, and then forget about the thing I was doing. I, I need to I need to crack on. I really need to crack on. So let's go. I always get asked why don't I tab? I, I don't. I, I, I mean, do I off camera? Yeah, sometimes. But obviously, you know, if I was if I was walking from my farm to my equipment, I, in real life, I wouldn't be able to teleport, would I? Of course not. So I'm about to do a strip up that way. I've got a full trailer. Let's do the full trailer first. And we're taking it up the road to a different cell point. We did the root crop place down there. We've done Hendrix. We've done a couple of different cell points. So I thought, you know what? Let's go to this one. The Fanzelt, not Palfinger. The Fanzelt is what we've got. I like these tractors, I have to say. It does sound cool as well. It's 
So pulling out up a slope with a heavy load. It's not too far to go. I <laughs> did. I don't know, it's made, I'm at that point now, I guess it just kind of makes me laugh now. I, I you know, I, I mean, it doesn't, it infuriates me, but it kind of, you have to laugh. I, I, I'm still getting messages when I do a Let's Play. And then, like I've always said, it doesn't matter what you do. You know, I did two Let's Plays where I had no contracts available at all. Uh, Mars, the mission was one, there were no contracts because I had the fields and we would just, you know, I made my own fields and off we went. The Apocalypse series, we did like one contract, which we were kind of helping out doing some ploughing, or two maybe. Um, and some people weren't happy about that because it was vastly different and get back to doing normal farming. So I come back onto here and then I've got people saying, oh, you're doing what you always do, you're just doing contracts. <laughs> I've got two tiny fields, I've got no equipment. Um, I'm building up to having a farm supply company. That's the plan. Oh, look at that. Didn't know it sounded with a map tour. I was doing a map tour originally. I saw the guys that were over there having a chat, but that. I love that about this map. Didn't even notice the water in there either. That's a proper leak. That needs sorting, lads. That needs sorting. I'm, I'm not a foreman, but you know, I mean, just. I, even I can tell that. Anyway, I think we're selling, was it just over here? Selling, dropping off. There we go. Let's say, keeping our top right. <laughs> if ever you're doing this, the money starts to go up. You've made a mistake. Especially when you're doing a contract. How far are we done? 46% transported to that sort. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> I've got a bit to be getting on with, which is fine. I don't mind that. Like I said, yeah. So I, I you know, I don't know. What are you? I've had this conversation so many times, and I've had this conversation. When I say this conversation, I don't just mean talking to you guys. People say, "Be not having a conversation." I know, I know. But I've had the conversation in real life with real people. I know, I know real people. I do interact with human beings every now and again saying the same thing talking to other youtubers and content creators and saying you know help me out here what, what am i missing if you come on to a let's play and you're doing a start from scratch you've either got nothing or you've got very limited equipment you might not own any fields at all um or you've got some fields but not enough equipment to actually do any work on them what how do you how do you make money what do you do most of them will say oh, i just put some money in i just put some money in and buy some stuff other people say, well, the contracts, obviously that's what the contracts are there for. Um, so I don't know. I don't mind doing it. Right, so let's get this harvest going. This is nice. There's a lot of... It's very airy. Plenty of window. Look at that light shining through there. That's quality. It's still, I don't know, you know, again, when people say it's arcade I don't understand. And 25 just looks so much better. So much better. Even with the mist and fog. <laughs> right, let's turn that on. So I, I went round the outside two or three times first. And then what I'm doing now is trying to get a straight line. And this is what I was talking about. So when I get to that corner over there, I'll have a straight shot down, which will take me pretty much the other corner. Um, but other than that, there's no, no difference to any other root crop. We're doing potato now, whether it's sugar beet. I mean, that's using uh, self-propelled as well. When you're using the trailed stuff and it's not much wider or it's about the same width, I know different ones, the rootster is a full row, isn't it? I'm sure three or four row. It's always taken time, it, you know. That's root crops. And what I like is the fact I'm using different stuff every time. I prefer this. I prefer something with a bunk. I prefer something with a, you know. So if you needed to or wanted to, you can hire a worker. The DeWolf, I don't know. It was just, you know, it was interesting using it and it was different using it. But, I don't know. I, 
in the real world, of course, when you're doing harvesting like that, you've got an entire crew. It's no different to forage harvesting. When you've got a forage harvester running and you're running alongside it and it's blowing all the chaff into a, um, a trailer and then you've got loads and loads of tractors and trailers lined up and your, your drivers will swap out once one's full, one drives away, M21 comes along and away you go. That's what the Devolf is designed for. It's designed for multiplayer. <laughs> I mean multiplayer, in real life, you know what I mean? It's designed for multiplayer. Um, I don't think that's what real farmers call it. Oh, dearie me, yeah. We're going to do some carrot harvesting today. Anyone else in multiplayer? Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just chatting away this morning, aren't I? I'm just waffle, waffle. Anyway. Yeah. Some time will be taken. We'll have potato left over. The second potato contract I will do off camera. Um, again, it's I'm, I'm, you know what I'm like. I'm like a magpie. I see the numbers. I've always said it, and I go, "Oh, I could earn some good money there." It's no different to taxi drivers. I know, I know. It's just bang, bang, taxi drivers are the same. When you get a taxi driver, often like around where we live, if you need to get to the airport, for example, from where I live, and you try and get an airport taxi, a lot of taxi companies won't take it on. Some will, and they'll have a fixed price and it will cost you X amount, let's say £60 for example, to get to the airport. Um, a lot of taxi companies won't, and the taxi drivers will always argue, if I drive all the way out to the airport with you, even if it's 60 quid, I've then, I've then got to drive all the way back um, with no fare, and I, and I don't earn anything on the return journey. If I stay local, in the time it would take me to get to the airport and back, I could pick up, um, you know, 10 other jobs which would pay me more than the 60 pound i would get for doing the airport run and it's no different i guess it's that you know you see the price for the contracts like this and think all oh, that pays out well i'll get i'll get all over that and it does pay out well but it takes a long time if i did some of the other ones that paid out less i could probably do more contracts and the same money in less time <laughs> but i'm just a nightmare And the thing with this as well, because it's quite slow and takes a long time, you can hire a worker, of course I can hire a worker, but it will use up a lot of money. So I don't know. I might still hire a worker, then jump over, do a bit of prep work with the plough, then once the plough's ready and the ploughing can carry on, just let the plough go, then I'll come back to this. I mean, both of them combined will pay quite nicely, but it's just how much would it cost me?
we may have a potato problem. A contract issue? I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. Um, <clears throat> this field is cleared completely of potatoes. I have 22,000 litres in this trailer. I have 1,299 litres in the harvester. As you've seen, ploughing is continuing over by those trees. It's over there somewhere. And I did hire a worker while I was doing the um, potato harvesting. But the contract is saying 99% complete. But obviously, I've got that other potato harvesting contract on field. Did I say 131? I think it was 113. And they're both coming to the same place. The problem I have is, this was only saying 93% delivered. And I don't think what's in this trailer accounts for 7%. So we might be sure, which is weird, because the carrot and the red beet, we had loads left over. I mean, like I say 30,000 litres, 40 something thousand litres. This is only 22,000 litres left here, and we haven't finished the contract yet. So I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> oh dear, we'll see. I mean, yeah, what, uh, what can you do? We're about to find out. I will have my finger hovering over the trigger. I'm going to get the ploughing done next. And then go into our ploughing. That was the, was the plan. Okay. And then it's going to move on to transporting. I might as well unload it, might I? Shall I unload it and it, let it go towards 113? You know what, well, let's do that. Why not? Then whatever's left on 113 will be left for both contracts. 13% transport, that's brilliant. I mean, it, it wouldn't have worked out a lot on this one, 16,000. So I reckon in total we might have 20 odd thousand litres of potatoes by the time we're done. But anyway, that one is done at least. Again, I can't complete on it because the, I've got the equipment from the first contract that we're using on the second contract. The farmers all, are all interlinked. They run a kind of a cooperative. Equipment gets bounced around between farms. Equipment's not cheap, especially these big old harvesters. Everyone seems to be running massive case equipment as well, which is, you know, a bit crazy. So as I said, ploughing I will continue, and then I will see you in a little while. It's only 8.46, that's actually not too bad. I thought that potato harvest was going to take me way longer. And the other field's a lot smaller, so we should be fine on there. And then we'll, um, yeah, like I said, with that new little plough we've got, I'm hoping that Mercedes will pull it all right. 130 horsepower, I can't remember what that has got. What is 150? Maybe not be, might not be 150 actually. Well, which field will we on this one? We'll go down and across the field and head out to 113. So yeah, that's um, at least it did complete. I was I was <laughs> I was very concerned. But again, I'm not making any assumptions that I should have crop left over. I know people, you know, I get letters, people saying, you, you know, why should you get anything? I know, I totally agree. I'm I'm doing a job for someone else. If part of that deal is the farmer says, look, I've got to deliver X amount. Can you do the harvest contract for me and deliver it to this place? And I say, yeah, no problem at all. And he says, thank you for doing me the favour. I'll pay you, and anything left over, you can keep, mate. Brilliant. That's the situation. It's 10 to 21, we are done. Fold that up, take it back, and the contract will be complete. I've also decided, um, you know I said about getting a feed mixer for um, getting cows, because we've got a cow barn already. And if you want to do <coughs> manure and slurry, we need cows, as well as the milk, obviously that would be a very handy thing. And on our... Oh, I haven't taken... That's got to go over to field 113. I haven't even got to that yet. Just got with the ploughing. Um, turn the lights off. And that one that I found um, on the Survive to Farm series, 
that had a really weird, it wasn't mixing problem. The trouble is, do I take the chance? I'm sure it's only like 10 grand. I might get one. Should I get one? Maybe. Let's go and have a look. I mean, there's, there are so many. Maybe I should have a look and see what else is available. I might be able to find another one that's cheaper. Let's, uh, not that. Let's complete on the ploughing contract. I can't complete that one yet because it's still got the equipment. And as I said earlier, we must be in root crop time. Got some nice baling, I mean, loads of baling contracts. Look at those. There are so many grass fields on here. But we've got a lot of potatoes, carrots, some other ones, potatoes, carrots, red beet, and then another ploughing one. But anyway, back up to 92, which is good. So in essence, what did we start on? 80 something, didn't we? Then we bought this, went back up again. So I guess we've got to try this out now. I don't know what. Hmm. I'll have a look. I, I, I'll give it some time. I don't want to. I don't want to jump into the decision again. I, I was trying to avoid using something I'd used before, but I didn't really use it that much on the Survive to Farm series. And if it works on here, I just want to see the recipes because it was a bit odd on there. And we do have straw, we do have hay, and we do have some silage bales. And as you've already seen, there's plenty more options. There's loads of baling contracts available. I suppose we need to be in that position as well. That we've moved to so many different Let's Plays of getting around baling equipment. Because at least that way, when they all pop up, we can just whiz off and do baling contracts. I suppose we could lease some stuff, again, without having to worry about... Um, about just keep borrowing equipment. But I suppose it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, does it? Most of the time, the equipment works perfectly does the job so finally again like I say I haven't checked the horsepower but it's fairly flat I'm assuming this will pull it fields aren't massive let's get our fields ploughed and then we can repurpose them and get some crops in the ground because we do have a cedar the cedar's over at the other farm we haven't actually spent much time at the other farm apart from the fact all the root crops are stored there The moment of truth. No problem, ish. It's probably not much wider than the one we got rid of. But I prefer a flat-ended one, a ripper chisel plow rather than a mould board plow. It's just, I don't know, just for ease of use. And at the end of the day, any of it, once you do enough practice with them, actually, I know what we could do as well. Let's go back up to here. So we are at our field. What do we own? Actually, not all the way out, I was going to say, because it does got a diagonal there. That's interesting. Because actually, technically, our field we're harvesting, is it within the boundary? I mean, kind of. But it does go, because I, I thought if, it, if, it, if the land we own goes straight ahead, we can plough it out, we can create fields, but it doesn't. So, we'll stick to what we can do. Oh, probably wasn't a good idea going to the ditch, was it? Actually, that was the other thing I was going to say, because we did talk about it, didn't we, while we're here. That plot there, hang on a minute, oh yeah, that's got the barn on it, that one there was only 17, we'll buy that. Uh, what other one do we say we might get? Oh, I said about buying the, the farm next to us, or the houses next to us. Do I want to spend 54 grand of our profit to get another cow barn? Let's use our cow barn we got here first before we move on to anything else. Is only 46? 47? 33? 
maybe a couple more jobs under our belt before we do that. And again, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's get these fields done, these fields prepped. Then the next episode is going to be that. We'll get our cedar out. We don't actually have any... Um, we've got that slurry spreader. But if we're going to be a, if we're going to be supplying farmers, we need to be at a point where we've got some. I'm not sure if there's anywhere we can buy slurry from. Because it would be handy to use that, considering we've got it. Or, as I said, maybe sell it. So we'll do the start of the next episode then, once I've got these ploughed. We'll go and get that other slurry spreader. We'll sell it and see if we can buy a cheaper slurry spreader that does the same job. Because <laughs> we've got precision farming on, so it'll be one pass with the correct rate on. We might get through a fair bit of it, I don't know. This is working fine. I think I'm, I might take Rob up on his offer. One of the vehicles, not all of it, but one of the vehicles Rob offered was a New Holland. And he messaged me uh, a little while ago, actually, to say I should really consider it. It's one of the best New Hollands he's used in-game for its, say, its options and its abilities and sounds. And so I thought, it's, again, it's probably not one of the ones I would normally have gone for. I think it's an older style. I want to say older style, not old, old, but before they moved on to the T4s, 5s, 6s, the, the longer numbered versions, I think. But we'll see. He said he can ship it over, we can have a look. And for that, just parsnip. So we can load up parsnip, send in the parsnip, and he can um, help us out, maybe. The Ford has gone. We are having this. Straight swap. I did offer. I said um, we can do a straight swap because it needs repair work and I'll pay you something towards this. Nope, they were fine. They were happy. I don't know if they just wanted... I mean, it does make me concerned. If they just wanted a shot of this, why? Was there something wrong with this? <laughs> so anyway, that is the end of this episode. Another one done. And even if we haven't made a huge amount of progress towards our farm supplies farm supply store, whatever it might be, we are farming. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, and if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>